I apologize, folks. I've been muted the whole time. Gosh, what an idiot move of mine. Had the mic muted. Well, I'm Rich. This is Rich Runner Gaming. Thanks for tuning in. And you missed a rant about a USB-C charger and my headphones and my Spider-Man uh, controller being bonked right now. So that's the catch up, the short suite of me just talking just now. Great day. I'm glad I figured that out before we started streaming. Anyway, thanks for being here. And if you're not new to the channel, this kind of mix up is always uh, a surprising refresher that, hey, everyone's fallible. We, we, we make errors, but we can fix them along the way. All right, let's jump into Horizon Forbidden West and watch the recap movie and see where the story picks up. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. So that is the recap and catch up. All right. And now let's go start a new game. Normal. I want, I want God. That's who I am. All right. Another cinematic trailer. Sit back and enjoy it. This land is healed. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. 
I've been searching Again. for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. Beautiful graphics. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. Uh, Aloy is the clone of that woman. If that's not her mother. Well, she did. I think she carried her in the womb for a little bit. She, Aloy is the clone. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. No. It's just a dream. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Who's there? Who goes there? Varl? <laughs> Varl? If it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Just saying. Okay. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins. Man, they did a really good job on the graphics. With the blight. Both, actually, but um, I should. Oh no, I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay. Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. He's got some second sight. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data data information on the device we've got a lot to cover um i'll have to explain everything as we go x marks the spot the since i was a little girl come on It's just like being in a movie. Love it. 
Shall we? We shall. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, folks. Here we are, back in the game. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Okay, that's that. That's our bow. Ooh, okay. All right, let's go hunter gather on it. There we go. Now, when I played this the first time, it was with an Xbox controller because I was playing on PC. All the medicine we could want. No, there's going to be a fight. Fluid. Ah. That's bitter? No. At least they make you feel better. Hold on. We should keep going. At least they make you feel better. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. What did I press? Uh, oh, slowing down some time right there. It's our dodge button. What was that called in? There it is. Nope. Did it just then. I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> Sorry, bud. There we go. We gotta do them both at the same time. Looks like the blight spread here too. Okay, what about the blight? Examine it. There we go. <coughs> so you eat it and breathe it in. The blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. Beautiful scenery. Let's fix the blight. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. Yeah, I see a few ways too. The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. We want to zip line across, or do we want to dive? Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. I don't know what these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. I think I'd rather traveling light these days. Dive. Yeah. I am uh, ran into some trouble on the way here. I still find my gear. Well that wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. 
Okay. X goes up. Yeah. And that dives. Got the force of the waterfall. That's pretty cool. Oxygen getting low. Cool stuff, man. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good time enjoying this game on PC or on PlayStation. They might even come to Xbox. Who knows? Some wild stuff, right? If it comes to Xbox. It very well could. Nothing over there. Up and around to the left. I sworn there was a prompt, right? Examine blight. There we go. I was like pressing that button the whole time trying to figure it out. Some of the blight is it's peeling off. That's so like dust, dandruff. That's gross. Ninety percent of dust is human skin, they say. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Like they left a carcass behind. Thing up here. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Gather all these sticks. Start making stuff. Some arrows off of it too. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some ridgewood. There we go. All right, now to craft some arrows. All right, L1, open wheel, X to craft. Done. Me too. Means we can carry. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. After you. That's why. Want to make sure that you made arrows. Get you out of that area without making arrows. All right, what we got here? Or that cross symbol up there. Guns. What was this place? What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. 
The, uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. A fuss? Then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Okay. Oh, more trees. Can't have enough stuff to make arrows with. Looks like a dead end. Can we get in there? Oh, can't run any further there. All right, go around. That obviously doesn't want us over there. Peppers. Banana peppers. Uh, gold thorn pepper. Down this way. Uh oh. We need to hide. Like a goofer. Most dead machines have it all alert. How do you want to handle it? A focus can help us. Be we stealthy. We make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Oh. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Yep. You and notebook. Okay. Very cool. Okay, concentrate. If we're to get closer. There we go. I got it from stealth. Another one's coming. Take it down, old fashioned. Beat up on it. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter yeah. studying its prey? Yeah. Very, very well studied. All right, here comes another one. After the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Yeah. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Did that take over a week or a month? How long? Because you showed up to me pretty quick. All she did was take a nap. Someone shot this machine too. Who shot it? Put three arrows in that thing. Press the wrong button. Jump. Right. 
Carl. Let's just get out of here. Way, Lloyd. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Yeah. Up. Okay, there we go. We got crouch now. While moving, tap L3 to sprint. Going into the ruin of the old ones. God has protected us. We'll be okay. Through here. Okay, I see. Lower what? Oh, lower the ladder. Some God of War stuff there. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Far Zenith? Register as a visitor. Please hold for ID. We are scan. visitors. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Okay. Well, let's find a way in. We got denied. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. Credentials I guess not recognized. I should be able to pry this open. Right open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped it. in from above. Get this climbing this gear. Might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Where are they? Where are they oh. now? What's that stench? Entire camp wiped out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That green. That explains the smell. Looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the Dang. camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Yeah. So we're gonna take a look up here and see what we can find. Training dummy. Your frustration, Aloy. That was a big piece. So it came crashing in, or it was just the destruction it made? No clamp. down as it went out if I can dislodge some of the debris we might be able to squeeze through maybe I can find something to help in the camp Aloy over here what you got I think I got something what we got here broken tool dehydrated friends from prototype I think this hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks oh, we got broken, a grapple? But maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. 
The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Mm -hmm. Things we were already looking into. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Kind of machine. Animals are we dealing with here? Gears. Tools over here. The tool area. Workbench. Got that. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You could use make something better. This looks a lot like Far Cry Primal. <laughs> I think that was my takeaway last time I played this, but done marvelously better. Uh, Not that they did a bad job. Caster. Now to test it on the debris. Hold L2 and triangle. Oh. Hold L2. That's not odd. That's this is L2. R2 to fire. What is the particular surface? Clear the rubble with the pool caster. Oh, I feel like I'm not doing it correctly. Maybe that dent. Maybe the pool caster can take out the debris. Okay. There we go. I just hold down. All right, we gotta figure it out. That works better than I thought. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. That looks like an option. What's this thing for? Let's turn it on and see. Information, maybe? Or a hover ring. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know. Are I think I can Gotta be, gotta be a little bit closer to do that. I think I'm this right. That's not working. This isn't the right way. Okay. There we go. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. 
Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Yeah, uh, jealous. Nope. Oh, don't fall. Okay. Double tap X. That's all. Oh, that was too much of a drop. Drop the ladder for Varl. Drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Now, is there something I missed up here? Isn't supposed to happen. Okay, try again. Go up a level. That's where I want. I think I can use the pole caster on it. Uh didn't realize that. Should have tried it. Woo. Barely made that one. Getting it. I'm getting the hang of it. Should go in here. Cinematic times. Planetarium. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, 
The truth is just a form of immortality. Data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. That's where we need to be, the data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. All right, here we go. Won't be able to swim across. How's it going, folks? To find a way around. Come on. Gotta find a way around. have really grown over this place. Show off. Yeah. Very much so. I guess it wants me to jump over there. Whoa. Get me double jumping everywhere. Focus might be able to help here. Or I could just bring the wall down. Nice little unique little sounds. That is, that is something right there. Yeah, see? What is that? I'm not going to kill this officer. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. What are we going to have to kill here? Up here. Up here. One of those little gopher looking things. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. And more burrowers. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. All right. Deal with the one on the right. Which one's my right? We gotta do a silent takedown on them. I need 
need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Gotta get closer. Um, the highlight track. R1. We didn't do that, correct? Load. What is it, 127? Yeah, let's go to that 125 load. Silly me. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay. Okay. There's its patrol path. I gotta get closer. Stay close. Gotcha. Got it. Mine's down too. Okay. Did you harvest it though? Didn't harvest it. Okay. I did not initiate. I did not initiate that. I did not initiate that attack. He just saw me. Got it. Got it. There's one more over there, if I'm not mistaken. It's down there. Okay. Let's get all these berries that we can get. What are you doing? Dang it, I am stuck behind a tree.
got them all. Didn't do it quietly, but whatever. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't yeah. worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers offend you. Anointed. Whiskers offend you. Can't hide in that. Looks like it's a dead animal. Got caught up in the blight. That's new. Do they actually have animals now? Get kind of hungry myself. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Yeah. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. For what? I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Oh. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Yeah. And not Just blow yourself it. up. And got more supplies. Looks like we're in here. camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I like traps. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. What we got here. All right. I'm up. Of trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Make some more. Okay. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. Which one is that? I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. That's new to me. See where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Okay. That trap. Press the wrong button. <laughs> Whoops. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. Dang it. 
it heard me. Got caught. Over here. Like, should probably get further away from that. What do y'all think? Further away, closer to it. Take it down. I can silent attack it. That makes sense. Welcome in, Calderna. Taking down scroungers. They look like groundhogs. Not groundhogs. Prairie dogs, but not. It's fantastic. I've loved this game so far. Graphics are amazing, especially cutscenes. Every place is different. How, are you, how is your Thursday going, sir? Hopefully, it's going well. Finally, nice and cozy, and found a spot here. Playing the game. I don't know if you've scrubbed back and watched the intro, but I did not have the mic on for the first like nine minutes <laughs> of today's stream. But fortunately, I caught it. Before I got into the actual gameplay and everything else. So mostly just the intro I had to redo. That's all. I was talking and I was like, wait a minute. It doesn't seem like the mic's catching anything. Let's see. I have a grapple hook. But I need to figure out where the grapple point is. There's a grapple. That's a bucker door. For a grapple point. Now, oh, there it is. I'm up. There it is. Uh oh. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't, Aloy. Oh, that doesn't work. Not that direction. Anyway. Maybe we uh, try to pry the door open now? Good. No. Alright, Aloy. Get on the wall. Good catch. The audio in this game is amazing. A lot of people are recently are currently playing this uh, on PC because it just got released to PC, I think, this past weekend or this week. And so a lot of people have been enjoying this game. Um, I'm obviously playing it on PlayStation, there. but it's yeah. from what I've heard, most of the graphics on PC are identical to the ones on PlayStation. They're phenomenal the on PlayStation. I'm playing 4K 60 FPS. You were born to fix all that? Obviously, streaming 4K 30 FPS because it, it won't. My graphics card won't do 4K 60 FPS upstream. Cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl, there's data here. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. 
data. So, Let's see. Uh, check on learning oh, counter now in case you don't remember. A lot of glyphs. Aloy oh, found her little earpiece when she was a child. So she's been learning all about things and seeing things. This guy is from one of her sister civilizations and she gave him a little thing that goes on his ear. It gives him what they refer to as second sight. Uh, which is basically augmented reality. It allows her to view augmented reality, or it projects it's augmented like reality, I think. I don't think it's an actual visual thing. I think it's a projection that allows. But she's the only one that can see it. So maybe it is a visual... Pro I don't know how it visually projects in, the mind, in her eye. But nonetheless, it's very akin to augmented reality. It's what, what it feels like in anyway. That looks like the way we came. It does, doesn't it? You got a good eye, Varl. So we should go through this door, you're saying? No. Wait, up there. That's where we need to go. Oh, those bug sounds. That sounds familiar from childhood. Or any time in the woods. Oh! Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just we won't be going that way. Can't I? Oh, what is that? That looks like a ladder right there. Caught it on my peripheral, my vision, my peripheral. Really oh, Barry, hurry up! Hey, Lloyd. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Let's activate it. Stay hydrated, friends. On zoo. Terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions. Halo is a clone of Elizabeth. The core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One: Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Oh. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to... So Hades is what... The expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. Oh, that's why Hades went offline. So it sounds like she put a failsafe in. I but Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Oh, that's right. He doesn't know. It's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Good question. Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. By a machine. And they hate the machines. It's why I'm motherless. Why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. Okay. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this 
Gaia? <laughs> Weird yes. science, yes. Great TV show and She's movie. Not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> she did. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So go do that. Have to go. Okay. He is. He's blown his mind. So there's a lot of new information. Until update. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. Yeah. I found something you could use. A weapon. Nice. Thanks, Mo. We should keep moving. After you. Okay. Oh, this is the slingshot. Cool. Open door. Shoot orbs. Crafted orbs. Whoa. I think oh, we're almost hurt. back outside. Good. This game almost the first one, Horizon Zero Dawn, almost didn't get mated. It's a giant snake. So I watched a documentary, I think PlayStation produced the documentary, Sony, but it was really cool about the behind the scenes and everything. Good try a new weapon on it. All right. So this is a new feature from compared to last horizon. We can scroll through and see all the stuff. So like it's weakness to frozen and poison. Power cells, a chain reaction. Okay. Definitely gonna. I get it. I can do more damage to it while it's good. Machine can take move its power source. Move its power core. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Gather. Make more of those. Make more of those. Make more. What do we got so, down here? You said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. It is. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Ted was he part Farrow. of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. He was worse. I got a feeling we don't. If there's a safe area, the underwater graphics, Galderna, are amazing. Okay, some of the best underwater graphics I've ever seen. Yep, that's where I wanted to go. I can feel the waterfall in the controller. Uh, something you might have missed at the beginning of the show is talking about how not only is my one set of my headphones out of commission, but also now the uh, Spider-Man controller for my PlayStation, the left trigger actuator is acting up. So I got to got to repair that. So the battery for the <clears throat> headset should come in tomorrow and then I'll install that, get that going and then also try to repair 
or fix the actuator on the PlayStation controller. Good thing I have a backup controller as well. And I have a seek. I hope it's not a causation, but I they've both presented me with problems the headset and the controller after I plugged them in to a USB C port on an anchor charger. So I can charge two things USB C and two things USB A. Then it has three 120 outlets on the back of it, and then it plugs into a 120 of course but I've plugged both of those things into that and then there was a problem with them resulting from plugging those after plugging in not because now I have no firm causation but I definitely have correlation suspicions so hopefully there were just wear and tear issues but I really hate that that USB-C charger ha I just can't I bought it so I could plug more things that I have USB-C charging capabilities into, but apparently right now the correlation is that I uh, may have boinked those two devices by plugging them into that charger over there. So who knows? I need to figure out how to use my, um, I need to, I need to take that, uh, multimeter tour and see if there's some problems in that charger over there. Could be too much voltage, I don't know. So that thing is weakness. It's a burrower. Its weakness is fire. Fire and arrows, I guess. Its weakness is fire. something for it. Why are you so close up here? Oh, stay. Stay down. Don't see him. I can also silent strike it, I guess. Take all the things. Things. Go ahead. Got it. Do like my stealth attacks. Oh, there's one more over there. Holy crap. I didn't even see that. We were in that back corner the whole time and it didn't do anything. Taken. Taken. <clears throat> also, I trimmed up the beard today. Don't know if anyone knew that. Knew that? Noticed that, I should say. Wait. 
Where are we? Examine. Get up. Get all the things. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. So fresh, fresh. This track, this tracks end right there. A little stand up thing, scan. Trappy trap trap. And show me your path, please. Good. It's about to go into his. There we go. Stand in there. Crap. They don't see me. Just curious because its friend just got exploded. That one came out of nowhere. And that one got attacked. Yeah. Boom! Right in the tail. Okay. Got him that time. I'll go collect everybody's. What were you hiding over here? This is a special room. Anything else in here? Oh. Okay. Got one more collect from over here I do need to get a haircut that'll be the shaving of not shaving the trimming of the back. beard so what shaving not shaving the trimming of the beard uh, something I can definitely do at home but a haircut is coming soon because it is job application time and gotta clean up a little bit Get up on that ladder, girl. I think the I think I'm pronouncing the voice actor's name correctly. Ashley Ashley Brunch. I think it's Brunch or Branch. Might be Branch. Anyway, she does an awesome job as voicing Aloy and quite a few other characters I've played in video games. But also as a great actor on a TV show on Apple Plus where they uh, are making a video game called Mythic Mythic Quest. She's one of the testers. She's a Subplot character, but still a pretty good actress. Actor. Uh, Riddick. I can't remember his first name, but uh, he passed away. I think before they made this game or after they made this game. He was in the first one. He was a very important uh, voice actor role in the last game. But I don't think he's in this game because... He might have passed away before they got the voice acting done, or I don't know. Anyway, uh, Lance Riddick, that was his name. That was the really awesome actor and voice actor, Lance Riddick. He was also in The Wire. Really great show. Calderna, did you ever watch the show The Wire?
Ooh, that's a big one. There are two of them? Three of them. Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. Trust me. Figure it out. And there she goes. Just need to get Repel her. down. Now that was cool. Rapple down. We just gotta make sure we don't get killed. Okay. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Okay. Where is he going? Let's see. I would say I, I I understand what you're saying, but um, the show is less cop, more detective. Um, but I hear you. Uh, you should give the uh, show writers a chance, or check them out and see what they're uh, see if they've written any other stuff that you actually might have already watched or been interested in. Adam. All right, I know there's another one in here somewhere. I can hear it. I'll be on the other side of this tree a bit. In the bush. Done. Take off. Oh, there's another one. Let's go that way. We're going to follow it. Got him. So on. Okay, there's a way up there. Got it. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Tap to drop from clump. I didn't get up high enough. I better try this again. The Wait. How? Jump, tap, jump and tap X to grapple. Then tap. Got it. Okay. That seems clunky, but I get it. They're making us use all the things that we learned. So I get that. There's a reward for getting up there. Gotta go across now. 
so I guess. Like there were three giant machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. Grapple? Great. Okay. Ooh. This Hello? structure does not seem safe. Why did I come up here? That's what I need, though. Boom. Pull up. Made it. Okay. Careful. That looks real, real rusted after a thousand years. Cable holds. Ooh. Well, ah, they didn't hear me. This place is barely holding together. Yeah. Oh. I want you to not trust the environment more. In case you're a. Uh, Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I hope there's a control console nearby. Yeah, probably. Lamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basement. Okay. Oh, great. The machines in my way. Where they at, girl? Stealth is king. Take them all down. This way first. Let's gather all the materials we can always gather. Hmm, that looks suspicious. It wasn't suspicious at all. Anything back here? Nothing back here. Just an opportunity to hide. Got him. Be one more somewhere. One more somewhere around here. Where's he at? Where's that sly little scavenger? Ooh. There he is. Made his move yet? Still cautious. Wait for it. Turn back around and go the other way. And then he get caught. All the things. Control console might be in there. Okay. Yep. It's a control console. Those machines down below. Here we go, folks. 
Big time. We're gonna crush those snakes or not? Nope. You just got their attention is all. Now you gotta go up there and snap those Get up there. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Looks like something just fell. The tower. Scanning with my focus could help here. Get the lift. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. Nope. Pull it. Come on, Aloy. There you go. No. How are we gonna? Maybe we should just jump up. Okay. That's something here. What is it, folks? Look at this thing. Really? Really, after I jumped everywhere on around that thing, knowing that's where they gotta go up through. Uh. This whole thing's falling apart. Oh, no, Lord. Across that rickety platform. Rickety Grick. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Oh yeah. Hey, night night. Oh wow. Uh-oh. Uh 
You gotta go, girl. Booyah! Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh, that's cool. Fair, keep moving, girl. Engineering disaster right there. Oh, that snake is still alive. Okay, I knew it. Give me that weak spot. It's got so many things. Tag that part. Wait, what was its weaknesses? Fire and ice. I got ice. Okay. That's danger. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. I see what we did there. Get up. Oh, dang. Didn't see that tail coming. Did not see that tail coming. I need to take this thing down to get to the data center. Yes. Okay. Sack. Okay. Which is the sack?
That's an ammo. I mean, that's a venom sack. There we go. Which canisters? Oh, I think I got him. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Something happened. I didn't like that. Oh, now it's introducing its tail, huh? Okay. Oh, it's loose. It is loose. I need to hit those canisters. Damn it, it broke free. I gotta take this thing down fast. That may be lost ammo. Oh my god, I can find something I can use around here. I need to craft. Craft, craft, and heal. Need craft. Dip, dodge, dive, duck, and roll. What is that? Let's see what this can do. There we go. Now he's down for the count. Whew. I was like, it's got to have something on the ground. Finally. Level two. We've reached level two, folks. The data center should be straight ahead. I think. Boom, boom. Pretty cool gun. Okay, let's go to the data center. How many of those have dropped? We did it without them, though. Well, we did it with one. It dropped that tool after I uh, cut it loose, I bet. I just didn't notice it on the ground until then. <laughs> this is what happens. Hey, right, where do we need to go? This way? Double jump. Pull up. Go through the sacred doors. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the Yeah, you think the game's over once you get there and you get that backup, but obviously there's more, much more involved. Okay. I should find the server room. Server room. are close, eh, Lloyd? This is very reminiscent of the beginning of the first game. Just going down and opening the plot up, if you will. It's not the exact same, but I mean, it's it's a similar concept. Bunker has turned into a cave. Alright, here we go. Dialogue. Search for the stars. Oh, 
It's here. Gaia version 6.9. Uh-oh. Initializing. Hello. Hi. There is something else. Who's this? Now, what's this we got here? A Farzan's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Uh-oh. Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! What is going on? So he put a virus in there. Thou shalt not steal. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Okay. Very disappointing. So, is there ever a backup of Gaia? Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Climb even higher for more disappointment. I don't know. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um... There's going to be more of that. <laughs> I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast. And whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Mm -hmm. Someone who might get hurt. This Makes is you vulnerable. Me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay, so we go back to Meridian? I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. We're gonna ride there. Point of the lance. Back to, we went back to Meridian. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. Yeah, she doesn't like that gratitude. This welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain. 
That makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. She looks. She has some. Ro she has some rosacea on her cheeks for sure. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Uh-oh. It's raining. <laughs> they built a statue to her. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. From that? What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. <laughs> A little bit of childish Gambino. What you find. Could see that. All right, we got to go discover what's in this. This. this is the lance. I could pull this thing out of the What? Does it have powers? That's not good. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. No? Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Need to go. Um, to the base of the spire. Okay. Nope, that's not it. That looks like some climbing stuff right there. Okay. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Got it. Oh, right here. Up, up. Oh, hi. Who is talking? L2. Yep. Hold over. Get over here! There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. I thought silence was helping okay. me when he gave me his lens. But it looks like he tricked me. Tricker? Transmitted something through the spire. No. Did he save Hades? I doubt he saved Hades. Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Okay. Up. Up. Huh? Looks like this panel's ajar. Go up through the inside. Yep. All right, where are you? Let's see. That 
That's a staff. Access lift activated. Very much cogs and gears, yep. Yeah. Wonder what the carja will make of this. Ooh. Open the tower up. Very much, yeah. Very much machinery like. Oh, I love the graphics, man. So phenomenal. There's the note. Alright, do your do your witchcraft. Tell us what you do. Oh, wow. That's a compass. Go west. Well, Eloy. There he is, Lance Riddick. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Hmm. March of last year okay that makes sense so this game came out before he passed away because this game uh, came out in 2022 and the rain effects they definitely did mocap motion capture for the face it's not her choice. she's got to go west So they're currently somewhere around Colorado, Utah area. You went inside it and it transformed almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. Forbidden West. It can be difficult. West is called forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you. And attacking on sight. Great. I think we're a thousand years away from twenty. Maybe a thousand years away from twenty twenty. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for New a spear. offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Who's it? Vinasha. Quick. Oh. And over before she runs off again. Really? Huh? Must you? Hmm. Impressive. Try it on. It's 
Beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Okay. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. We are ready. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. Examine. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Savior, everything's just Look the way to it. We made sure of it. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. Yes. But it's bigger than that. Deportate I don't think they had a love interest because he has a kid. He's just, territory. she's a great warrior. I a son. That's a knock. Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. Hmm. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier. Yeah, it's very well done. Don't you mean Raider? Uh, no. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reigning in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic okay. defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Cinnabar Sands. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. <laughs> he's turning into a fine young man which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first yes well I'd have to get married for that to happen uh, okay I see what happened Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me but I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not he likes her at any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Sony does a really good job with scripts Who knows? when it comes to these games. Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I, uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. 
This isn't really the time. But it has to be. Ooh. The way you left before. Take like it easy, cow, Darna. No way to know when I'll see you again. You want I'm a not kiss? To stop you or hold you back, but I need to know when your mission is over. Will you return to Meridian and stay? But long Hopefully. enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose strength to confront the challenge directly. Brain Aloy to use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Or heart Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest reaction convictions. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. This mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. He whispers. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. Why, thank you. Looks like a memorial. Honoring the those fallen. who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. Whoa! We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Pushed through. How goes it, Hammerhead? There. Hammerhead? The workbench. Upgrade the staff. Cool. That was it. Okay. Both it. Fanasha. Say goodbye to our friends again. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Hmm, which way do we want to respond? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May mm -hmm. the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. I was going to say nanny, but I like your version better. <laughs> it's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. A bad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> hmm? I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. 
I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, big old teddy bear. No idea. Huh? Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about okay. Eamon? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Eamon's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go. Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. All right. Whoop. Have we done everything? Your Queen Masadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. Mm. I. Uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. There we go. That's we a nice. Our lives, champion, and we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. That's cool. We got over here. I guess it was Is nice it everyone? For a little while. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Examine. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. All right, let's get off to California. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Nope. Not all the chatting I need. I better get it's going. It's time to go. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll yep, she's going to leave him behind. She's going to sneak away. Out. 
My voice has grown so somber These words don't seem like mine But the iron won't subside No matter, no matter what I try Box to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Amazing Good intro credits. Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. We can't take care of. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. 
Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. You don't do as I say immediately. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. <laughs> Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian. Really? <laughs> well. Yeah, jackass. Insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. <coughs> Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left. Got a lot of metal on that outfit. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Also Can picked up some lunch during that uh, credits cutscene and whatnot. Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey. I need to eat me some food. I'm trying to get a little bit of a headache. I haven't eaten much today since Top cereal and yogurt. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But She's gonna do it. No more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. That is the will of the sun. Trust me. Alright. Just let you folks know, I got me, um, went and grabs, made some quick lunch while, uh, Credits are rolling. Got to see some of it as I was coming back and forth checking on it. That was a really cool intro. Snagged a good picture there at the uh, title credits. Let's get into the story. You might not see my face as much. You might hear me clinking around the bowl as I eat, but I'll try to be discreet about it. But not. Here's get the game. Now we're properly in the game, but we're not to California just I yet. Find errand, but it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Chain scrape. Upgrade that bow. Only some new creatures down there. Fire could do a lot of damage. Fire. Do you have ingredients for fire? But we do have a save point. Alright. Quick save is. Fast travel is free. I believe we can make. Uh, just do that. Let's 
skip tutorial. First one open. Passive boost can be recognized by the circular shape. Okay. Concentration regen. I want that. Valor surge. I don't have enough points. Confirm. Yeah. 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 Silent strike. Yeah. Stealth got technology. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, inventory. Check everything off. Okay. And special gear. Pull caster. Then we have our notebook. That beast of a thing. Met all these characters. Stats, game progression, 2%. <laughs> All right. Forget, can we harvest? No, we can't harvest. Stealthy. Gotta be stealthy. These machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Guys, suspicious. got me not eating enough lunch Weak in the brain I can't perform Game of patience, we're hunting.
set that machine on fire. for these soon enough. There we go. I think I can climb up this cliff. I wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. It won't work on that. Be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Machines weak against frost. That went fairly well.
can't override that machine. But I could learn if there's a car down here. We'll have to worry about running out. can do. That's what I meant to do. Wait for it to move. There we go. At least it was the last one. Proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than ten guards to kill one bristleback. 
So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of mine make. Free of charge. Well, thanks. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Yeah. Thanks, ma'am. That was a good, that was a good lunch. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that- Anything <laughs> about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. Thinks he's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Got half the town treating him as such. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. He kept pressing for the Olvin discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> I don't follow. There's this sack of I have the town treating him as back when I had a kept pressing for the I can't prove. Felt it best. I should get going. Thanks. For the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? What? Try later if you want Get to out of here. Out. Maybe. Tripcaster trial. Under control. Some errand headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Okay. Things we can collect and go up the ladder too. Whoa. Let me see there, Aloy. Can pick up his traps. Also, I feel like that's a thing we can do. That's valuable. Yeah. Right, keep going south. Which 
way did they go? These prison Ooh. packs are everywhere. Careful. Stalking a giant bristle back. Some things here. This way. Almost tracks. Oh, got something. Camp or something up here. It's like fights going on in there. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Here we go. That's our old friend right there. Gotta have him out. Take care of him. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. The rest is it more than one. It is. That was you got this, Aloy. Something's up. Okay. Yeah, I messed that fight up.
max traps I can set right now. Yeah. There we go. Is there more? I think so. It's just the two in the backup. Yeah. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, yeah, you might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! You hurt? What's up, bud? What's up, friend? Caught me at my best, as usual. Fighting robots. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the daunt just to watch me get wrecked. What's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. Great. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But... But hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Oh, she, she's just leaving everybody behind. <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze. I'm coming. This looks very much like a movie. This keeps getting better. Very well animated movie. <laughs> huh. All right. Listen, Aaron, don't die. Let's go light. Get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studios, Studios. Wadis. Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. I'm pretty sure... Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm pretty that's sure the great. person that you, they motion cap... Sorry. I don't know if that was... A, yeah, they did motion cap that Ashley. Where is this coming from? But hey, just, Aloy you know, doesn't look yeah, yeah. completely like it's nothing. Ashley. <clears throat> In many different nothing. aspects. But I don't think... All right, fine. Oh, she looks the like the, the voice actor, personally. You I don't know if that's... So I don't consider it a negative or a positive. I mean, but I don't think she looks like Ashley. I just, just think she looks different. Disappear? What kind of person does that? He's got some big feelings. Aaron, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. John Hopkins. Life on Earth. Yeah. Great medical institution, I've heard, but I don't Everything know the person, dies, the voice actor, that well. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight. Yeah, I can see the life. resemblance. Yeah. I, do, I... <clears throat> I can't even explain it. Not Good even old John C. Riley. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Okay. Aaron, by the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no. Hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. 
We'll make it without you. Dang. Just so cold to each other. I said we're good, Aloy. Oh, <laughs> Go on ahead. Why do you stand the heck around was that? Then? Help me off this thing. What's that? You'll have to handle that one. Anomalous growth. me all the things. <clears throat> okay. All right. Clear the dot. Go to the source of the explosions. Chain scrape. <clears throat> Those. Look at that. There's like a place up there on that mountaintop over yonder. What is that? The voice actor for <clears throat> Aloy. That's Aloy. And you're saying Ashley looks like B. Arthur? <laughs> or Kurt, yeah, if you follow her on um, social media, she does look slightly different than she does did when she voice acted this of course i like her she's she's a good actress and voice actor really good voice actor for this okay Got a little bit of indigestion now from the taco bowl lunch let's go to chain scrape what are those awesome doing out here? Quick, gotta scrap them before the scroungers get them. What? Oh, that piece of axe charging right at them. Uh, let's craft some. There we go. Another one for the scrap pile. Your help <clears throat> get all the scraps off of Just get back to chain scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Why is that name said? That name does ring a bell to me. This Angela Bassett in the game as well. There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Break those ass chocolate bristlebacks. Come on. to shoot them barrels off its back. Here we go. Oh. Oh, dang, go. Got caught up in it. <sighs> Fantastic. 
Man, this game loads fast. Angela Bassett plays the mother in Black Panther. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She must feel, she must voice Zoo. So, I bet she voices Zo. Uh, There we go. Oh. All right, there's no sneak attack. Up, Aloy. Back on, she didn't get hit. Yeah, come on over. You running off? Incoming. Oh, there's more. Oh, time to go, 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 go. Critical strike. There we go. Good way. Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! It's one more down. Another one down. We need to make more arrows. Oh, 
Oh, that's bull crap. One less machine. Come on. Where's the other one at? some ammo oh she's running low there it is down for the count there Corey safe stranger come on over here we got talk yeah we got to talk know what Anor is doing out here. Belina. Yourself. Oh, we tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Stampede. Okay. We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Thanks. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. Do you need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Oban blows that thing. Because if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Oban holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristle bags. Mm -hmm. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olvin's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thought before. Where really? in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to, need to go. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. Be safer on the outskirts I just saw. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Vladis the good news. Vladis. And maybe this embassy can finally happen. I'll save the extra stock for later. Okay. Let's be good that way. Where are we then? I thought I had plenty. <clears throat> okay. We got some skills, don't we? Got one skill point. Machine master. Okay. Inventory. Resources. I remember sometimes what this is, what this leads to, but we haven't got to the crafting stuff yet, so not too worried about it. Yeah, because all the slots are locked right now. We met Regal. 
have not yet. meant to get the map. That's where it wants us to go. I want to go that way. Because when we came in here, we didn't come from here. That's bearing light. That's how we came in. Around the city, so let's go back this way. Follow the road. Ah, uh, we got a fast travel point. Let's do a quick save. Take all these neat little things. through all my wood trying to fight those things off. I need much more powerful weapons, that's for sure. And we'll get there, of course. Should use shock ammo. Chargers. I can never rot them now, can I? Let's check. Take less damage while mounted. To mount an overridden machine, tap square. To the left. Okay. Should be able to rod this thing. There we go. Set. Big upset. <laughs> Possibly my fault. Okay, we can go around this area. It's gonna fight each other. On to the village. Don't leave me alone. I don't want none of this. I don't want none of this. Hmm, it's gotta be a way to get there. Assassin's Creed stuff here. Not there. It's right here. That's what she said.
That don't do it. Anything up here? Grapple to. How to get up there? Something's got to fall. Okay. We oh, yeah. We obviously know something's in there. The gates must be shut because of the bristlebacks. I should look for another entrance. Look at that. Found another entrance. But it's walled off. All these bristle backs are dead. It's going well, it sounds like. Gates shut too. There has to be one that's open. Gotta be one. Hello? Anybody there? Nope. Gonna have to find another entrance. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Welcome it is. Trip, savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. Petra. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... What's going on? Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. No. Yep. Uh, you're not going to come visit your friend. See, at, at Baron Light, I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, bigger gears to grind. Good to see you. Got to move on, Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the Maybe. brewery. Your choice. Maybe we could do that. Well, this Olivan guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra Who's that person? Support. <laughs> Who's this guy? First things first. I need to what? find a workbench and upgrade my bow. What is that guy doing? Cool. 
to open <clears throat> Crafting. Gotcha. Outfit upgrade. Uh, let's upgrade. We can upgrade. She's gonna upgrade. Wait, I can upgrade that? Hold on, let's see. Let's upgrade our weaponry first. Reading that bow. <clears throat> Have a beer and some laughs. Definitely going to be doing that. This thing needs to be upgraded. Okay. And let's upgrade that. That drunkard, man. That was a pretty good one. Okay, we're going to upgrade that. Seems like we can upgrade most of this stuff to the second slot. What about our outfit? Can we still upgrade it some? Yes, we can. Stuff. Special gear, huh? Blows that whistle, no one's working it. This should be useful. No, I just need to get a point he's working. Okay. Is this it's your stash? Okay. Interesting. What's this? Some good stuff here. Nora in the dawn. About now, I had seen everything. Shop looks good. I purchased from this guy. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. I ain't gonna stop you. Help yourself. I'll tell you the odds, but hail. Pretty sure it's your grand. Can't be my round. He's locked up. Talk to that guy yet. I want to go have a beer with my friend. Where's our friend? We would like to have a beer with said friend. This person's got a mission. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. Okay. It won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened. But the first cave in happened. Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? Walk us through it. What happened? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. 
And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the back in to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvin who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olvin's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Look at you! Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Great, right, what about the people? Are people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. 
Russian, don't get me started on the Olven discount. They feel so entitled. What's he gonna do? And if you refuse? I make meals. Got trouble. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would right. be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my... Are you gonna go find this man a griddle? I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source I can a source. temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat. And I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the okay. griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Yep. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? Okay. If you say so. All right. Where is our friend that would like to have beers with? Machine strike? Come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was what just is passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Good Don't thing. worry about it. I'll go like a mini game. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original strike. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll okay. give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. All right. Gotta do. Beginner tutorial. Perfect. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We okay. each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine. What's important is in our counter? Of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to... You see that number on the top right corner? Yep. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, okay that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own okay. the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Okay. Pick up that machine piece to your right. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Move that machine forward. It's all part of the learning process. Okay. Just need to, um... Wait. Up. X. Gotta move that machine forward. Okay. That wants me to move it there. Okay. 
Easy enough, huh? Just where I thought I, I could do wherever I want. Machines each round. So go. Perfect. Okay. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We still got a lot of ground to cover. Okay. End your turn. You have to end your turn there, Red. I'm We're ending. Forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent. A machine's combat power is a and its own attack power. This board only this and your good. so in total, since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like okay. your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. Got it. This means your... Did you get all that? I did. I knew you were a smart one. Finish. Not pulling yeah. any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. Got it. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move. Try it out. Downside it. to sprinting is that your machine... Now, some players like overcharging... Well, overcharge. Sprint, but it will... Da so use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. Okay. Attack. That's about it for your turn, then. See it. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine okay. of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same it. as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine. Ah. I see. Go ahead and attack that weak point. Attack. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so your machine attacked mine but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move down. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, and by the look of your machine, you'd be sacrificed. But sometimes that can be a good thing. Right. Overcharge your machine to attack. Attack. Ain't that a thrill? Now, Here we go. Because your now machine it, I can, is I, out I, I get that. Same now. time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is. Since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's so it's why first sometimes to seven. losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Okay. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory, but you did destroy all. That means that wasn't so hard. What? Okay. Just remember, I got to skip through. This is a lot of instructions for that. Oh, before I forget. These are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. Okay. It's a small set to be sure, but it took a lot to get that. To get you in <laughs> any strike games you find out there. You might even they've got all kinds of unique pieces. There's the mini game that we just got. They'll need the right too. materials to craft you one. Or you might know I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> brew hopping. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few things. Oh. Yeah, that was a lot. Come back anytime, Red. A lot of instructions. Where's our friend? Where's our 
friend in here somewhere? Knew you couldn't resist some good company. There's Petra. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Let's talk Get to Petra. A in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Not that a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good That's people. Where they came from. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out. Now Olvin can't crank it to his advantage. He'll drag his feet on getting this place running again. But sooner or later, he'll have to blow that whistle. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. So we got some political if corruption going reason, on. They'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. 
Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. I knew it would be helpful to stop by first. Clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain says. When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's worse. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart. No, I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears> Hi. <throat> Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvent Freehold, at your service. Olvent? So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this... Smudge of a settlement. Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. You must be a ah, brat. bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Yep. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied intimidated and taken advantage of how noble of you noble ha born with a hammer in hand i was nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap everything i've achieved i've done on my own and where is this hammer now the uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside the carja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Okay. You ordered the work stoppage? 
Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Oh, really? And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Who appointed if you? If Chainscrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Wow. Lovely. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Oh, really? You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Oh, really? I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Yeah. Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't no. take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. There we go. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior That's of more like it. has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's what yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Ha -ha. yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> I like that. That was that was cool. I like that. That's good. Now we can talk to the merchants. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send bodies off to Baron Light. Let see what that. What you got? Oh, I can't do the reflection back there. Nora Huntress. Osram Explorer. Go for that. Buy and equip. Can't sell anything. Strike pieces. Oh. Charge a magistrate wanted. Wonders will never be. He's in the tavern. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you've got that whistle blowing. Here we go. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. <laughs> I promise you won't be disappointed. What we got in wares? 
A fire hunter bow. Ooh, I do like that. That fire hunter boat. That's all I got. Selling for metal shards. Okay. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Pray there's no fixing you. Ooh. Play that ad to it on her. Stop following me around with self ever power. Okay. Back to the top. How will you move? You heard the whistle. Time to go. But but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. There See you, you there, Aloy. He's got a lot to pull behind him. I like this new outfit. Interesting cutscene. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy back up. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. Hmm. What do we got here? Look at that outfit. Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training, training pit. pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring. The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? Yeah. And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My okay. guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Work our way up from rules the bottom. Rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But okay. I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? I might be. That's what I like. Let's get it. Let's 
Let's just do it all. We know how to do it, but we're gonna do it all. Beat him up. And attacks are fast, but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. Okay. Continue. Heavy attacks. That's pretty good. Supposed to, me again. supposed to do the taps. Maybe attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage, but they're slow, okay. so your opponents might counter. It. I just whooped his butt in doing the wrong thing. Sorry, bud. Sorry, NPC. Power attacks. Now, see, that's what I was just doing. Smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage, but they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. Okay. Let's get to it. Ciao. Just keep going. Messing this dude up. You keep a noise down. Some of us are I have the best in all the time. Okay. Fate brings up I am most certainly so. Watch it all. Sorry, friend. Can't win them all. Okay. That's 
much as I can do. Nice to see you back here. What can I help you with? Guess I can't do anything to uh, discover more weapons. How do we get out of here? I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Let's get to Brighton. I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. <laughs> Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, uh, I... Uh, I like that. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I, I'm not a customer. I got it. Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom. One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced, explosive, done in one, machine wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin, javelin. thrower? The javelin. I forgot about the javelin. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Okay. Hello. Hey, I thought you'd left by now. There's another question. Exclamation point. Another round here? 
Heard you've been busy. Got more dish. More gas. Me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to oh, set yeah. up camp somewhere else. Maybe. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one, at least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Clean Brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Okay, but what about him? Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. Okay. Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. Let's check that map again. Wait, that's the fight pit. Okay, that's some at the end of the game, apparently. Bigger boom. Yeah, skills. I have four skill points. No, one skill. Yeah, no, we have, yeah, we have three more left. Put medicine. Bird. All of our skill points. We 
Things got one. Cool. All right. Go to either one of these locations. Okay, here. Important. What you got here, lad? You, the machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. That clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to cars you lovers. On your blasted way. Okay. Um, I feel like I have too many quests. Get outside the base. Right. Back to the work. in my stash later. Put it in your stash later. <laughs> Rumor said that Fanghorn should be nearby. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rid. Take this thing down. Just a blade of grass. Very red. Blade of grass. That deer took me down. I was also not able to be powerful enough to take it down in its first blow. That's another reason. Rumor said that Fanghorn should be nearby. I 
Here's the fake one. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Very alert. I don't want to take it down just yet. One taken down. See what we got over here. Gemstone. That's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. Different. Wonder if merchants would be interested. See which way it goes. Hunter becoming the hunted. Okay. Craft all our arrows and Hopefully it doesn't see me. Got it. Okay, I think I have enough footage. Should try Let's something see. other than that. Curious.
Can we get it? Strike from above. Here we go. Cut the ribs, then we charger horns. Your horns are in this direction. A little pulley lever system there, it looks like. its path. Shoot off the horn. There's a horn. Sorry, buddy, but I need that horn. Dylan Boomer. 
Get that weapon. Be welcome, Elven. Be well. Almost ready to go. Go. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Real funny. Real funny luck. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom! Hey. I'll come find you later! Health heal. All right. And that is for hunting wild animals. I need some boars. Iraqi. There. It's raccoon. Wild meat from Ulda.
scroungers. Lord of said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. What just happened? The whole family's dead now. Collecting everywhere. Grass is awesome, yeah. I was gonna hit him. Huh. Perfect. Everything I need for Mildiff? Good thing to use a decent meal. Whoa. controller battery is low. Uh, no. Keep playing now. That tells me I need to go get my charger. <laughs> Take this to a dire later. to run all the way back. meat right there. I don't know where I'm at. to go. Oh, what is attacking us? It's just a little groundling thing. Oh, 
Oh! Got lasers now. Stay up top. Keep running. Keep running. Almost there. Oh, Caldern, are you still there? Show you how cool the water looks. I could. I'm not in deep enough water. <laughs> Let's see, is this deep enough over here? Okay. Here we go. Now we're underneath the water. That looks incredible to me. They really did water work really well in this game. Alright, let's go turn this thing on. Friend. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Okay. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. <laughs> I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Time to cook. There we go. Wow. Mild, if that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. Oh, nice. Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Now we got that done. Provides temporary benefit. It would be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. See what else. This. What is this all about? Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. 
That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. I don't know if I agree with the Lindsay Lohan likeness, but fair, fair. Into the dawn. It's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only could have come way underneath I know the mountains. Barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Alvent up. What is this concession, concession decree? decree that Olvind wants? He that wants character say bloviating? <laughs> it is a big word to be used. ...of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Nope. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Okay, and then your role? How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. Okay. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. Okay. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead okay Yet. First to West Quarry. Level five. We're level six. Skills to use two of them. Infantrator. Deal more ranged impact while stealth. Do more tear damage while in stealth. Yeah. What do we got here? 
Override machines deal more, overridden machines deal more damage or increase the amount of time a machine remains overridden. Crafter, craft tools and traps and potions faster, or recover more or higher quality resources when deconstructing traps and tripwires. I like that. Okay. Get me a haircut tomorrow morning. Just got the appointment set up. We're all set for a haircut tomorrow. Let's do some saving. Alright, now. Deep trouble. Need some new arrows. I don't want. No, I don't want to use. Been over there yet, so I need to go. So just go on foot. Let's just be real sneaky about it. We can do that. Let me be real sneaky about it, right? Let's go above. You need some wild meat. Okay. Find the rocks here. Basically, you can climb almost any rock face in this game. That's what it appears to be. Got some Breath of the Wild stuff here. This looks like a giant bird's nest. I need to go is it that direction. It is in that direction. Oh God! <laughs> Did not mean for her to jump off like that. Oh, that was <laughs> she swan dived off that cliff.
That was some funny stuff to me. Straight off that cliff. Like this in real life, it wouldn't be that bad. Hmm. This will make a good die. Oh, about messed up. Let go. Okay. Okay. All right. back. And we're off. <laughs> We didn't throw ourselves over the cliff this time. That's valuable. That also looks like a cave. Go to this air pocket. Whew. Air pocket. I was getting a little panicky in real life. <laughs> this cave take us? That's cool. Some green crystals down here. close. Oh, I definitely fell in here. What is that bloke? Oh. 
There's definitely something there. Let's go to the top. That open. <laughs> oh, that was miserable. I don't want to go diving again. <laughs> it's it's a good simulation. Found a lot of stuff in there. trouble. It's snowy over here. It's in this back corner over here. Stuff that we're gonna have to harvest. Just a bunch of chargers. All meat. Keep moving. said I'd find his crew. Uh-oh. We have people over here. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. I'm fine. There are others that need help. Save your please. That looks like the foreman Arnav mentioned. I should check in with him. Talk to me. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Oh no. Uh, easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. I'll go get him. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvind, how many? Uh, two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Do 
but we can. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Oh, Mr. Miners. Oh, we gotta swim, huh? I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a no? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin's I'm help. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I, I it's broken. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting. Take it easy, Calderna. The scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I, I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. Should still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. Don't get your hopes up, because we could we could make it worse. Drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully, without bringing the mine down on top of me. Okay. That current is strong underneath there. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast with the blockage. Probably need whatever's in here. That's a ladder. Yeah. Bridge, why would you do that? Try again. platforming.
Okay, how do we get up there? Here, yep. If I can find one. We got Burrower. Follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. There we go. Let's go to use your noggin, Aloy. I need to find a way up to those explosives. These explosives. Still not explosives, but okay. That was a lot of good stuff there. Explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop the ladder. ladder. Pull it over. Of course, eh, Louis? Detonating them. Attention. Ooh.
Ooh. Pain subsiding. All right. Critical strike. I crafted ammo for it. Yeah, go on. We didn't get it. That's all of them. Now let's go check on those miners. Whew. There we go. Supply cash. Pull it out. All right, guys, got you out. Looks like it. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. All Thanks, right. Kid. Finally, you can get us out. Get you out of here. Better let Corbin know his men are all right. Corvin. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here. Ulvut. Uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... Oh, well. I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Thank you. Olven's name keeps coming up. And it's 
never good. Sooner or It's never good. Maybe I'm gonna wear your path. Oh, I can have that one. R1, R1, R2. Okay. Oh, we got more skills. Let's get that one. That'd be a good one to have. That's a good one, right? Wait, we have one more skill point. What is that? Heavy lifter? Yeah. Okay. Inventory resources. Right. Someone's gonna have to should be able to free fast travel. Wait, no, I need to go. I need to track that side. Need to find about find out why the bristlebacks have been charging in. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, R two. Confirm. Thanks for everyone tuning in today. Appreciate it. Thanks for Calderna being here. We're going to continue gaming a little bit longer, um, but I think I'm shooting for 630 is when the end of the stream will happen today. So uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching and hanging out with us for the next 30 minutes or more. Head to the right. Welcome, Outlander. Oi, scrounger. Anything yet? You got words? Okay. Oh, I've gone too far. Red Hue Quarry. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Any holes back here? Can I climb up that? That, of course not. Dead bristleback by the falls. Go check it out. It looks like run over the falls. It. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Bet it did. What if someone air dropped him in? It's possible, right? Voices. I'm of mine. And a lot of broken trees. Ah, uh, they came through it's the. Like they came through the mine. Through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Somebody on the other side of the mine. But the pack has room. Okay. The old cart tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. Wants me to go this way. Uh, 
bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. Take them out. What do we got here? Blaze container. Things explosive. Keep making explosive spikes. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Okay, I see. these machines Aldrin Are just two of them. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Just two of them. If you use coals and weaves, these use them to modify your weapons. Now, uh, I don't think I can yet. I mean, you're telling me I can, but I don't think I can. Got poisonous fumes. Look. Looks like mine runs pretty far back. There's a blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. What does it say? We're gonna use this explosive? Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. We must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Okay. Do we want to explode it? Let's see what's down here. Can do that. What if I guess we can't save, can we? Explode. Okay. Now that's been checked out. Uh, let's see. Quest. Okay, let's get out of this cave. 
Who do that thing. So Olvind was secretly blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until... Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? Or from where? Look at this twilight camp. We've got a green orb. Green orb. A green shard. The cook should know what to do with this. The cook should know what to do with that. So much of it, and I not know what to do with it. Those people are under attack. Hey, you up there? Aren't you going to help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things to change. Still fighting somebody, or did you? Got him. There we go. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. All right, Nora. Let's see what you can do. Guess the show is over. Where's this person? Lokasha. Oh, it's bad. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised, but not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. We wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. 
Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. It must be. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. <laughs> he will return. He must. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Talland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends. And the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. Sure. Your priest, Savohar, you said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. Wonder what happened to him? He will guide us through. He always has. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. You need to go. Gotta go. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. The worst? We cannot stay here. But without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't let me up there. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. Okay. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Like you were going to stop me? Twilight's Landing. Should be that 
treacherous as far as robots are concerned. Part of the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. Very bad shape. You can get a strong color on this. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. like in real life. Oh, nope. We messed it up. Jump to the side. Promising. Wonder what a merchant would trade for this. Got a feeling it wants me to climb this. Yep. I'm starting to notice what kind of rocks you can climb here. Pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left a trail. There's the storm bird. Getting closer. Oh, look at that. Machines. Sabahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. Let's just sneak past them. Okay. I don't need to take him out. Maybe I do. Maybe I should take him out. Thinking, thinking maybe so. Okay. Let that one get far enough away. Got him. Got him.
Oh, <laughs> we got hit. We got hit from behind. Let's retry that. All right. There's the stormbird. Getting closer. Let's take him out. Poison or ice. I don't know where I'm at. Be alert all they want. Dismantled and with me. Made him run away. Gaining plenty from these things.
That's all of them. Good. Okay, onward. Why didn't we take this bridge? I don't know. I guess we didn't see it earlier, or it wasn't available to us. All right, friend. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. The true sun above me. You must be Savahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. Give the man some water. The water of life. Empty. Must be emptied. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh, part. This man's going to die Rachel. up here. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the storm bird isn't solving anything. Yep. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. So I think that oh, this is where we get the ability to fly. Yeah. My people will find their home. Okay, let's ask him about some questions. Here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something. Oh, it's already showing him something. Osram shot it, and it hit an old tower. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osram. The order is scared, Savar. The last rays of even time. Burn away the fear. I don't think so. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Grab the storm bird's heart. I can do that. Okay. First thing you need to do that. Okay. And so we'll get right here.
Oof, that was a long fall. Just made it. Oh, nope. There we go. closer to the edge. Goodness gracious. It's about a diner would be interested in this. Room that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes <gasps> back. Ooh. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. There. The order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Talk to him. Savahar? Knew he'd pass away. There's no way to get him down from over there. I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. Okay. Let's get him to safety. I should let Lakasha know. I think give her the Stormbird heart. Yeah. Not really a way to swan dive down, is there? Oh, we, do we have an assassin's creed? Oh, we got a repel. That's pretty cool.
Oh, you kidding me? I gotta go all the way back around up there. Ugh. Oh, I can only shoot it. Oh, I can shoot that one. You ain't gonna win this. That Stormbird belongs to the buck. I'm a generous gent. Listen here, folks. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on. I don't think so. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. We gotta fight this guy? Okay, so you clipped the Stormbird. But it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Yeah. Come on, boss. It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these Good. people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Hmm. You need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. Barely got out of there, but we got it. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes. I think once we get to Brighton, we win today's stream. Maybe so we're going to shoot for 7 p.m. <laughs> I... This is... No, I'm... Um... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's not coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people go to Chain Scrape. She needs to, to be the leader of that people. Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. Do your best. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. You get some money? But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape then. Okay. Cool. Alright, now can we go down all the side? Oh, that's just return back to that guy. Gonna return back to chain scrape. I can sworn I can travel there for free. How do I get to travel there for free? A travel pack. That's stupid. All right, on foot we go. We're going straight down. There's a campfire right here. Okay. Here we need to go. Up this way. Oh, 
field of those. Like bighorn sheep. This raptor looking thing out there. Like a giant chicken almost. Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? Yeah. How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Yep. Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. Yep. I need to go. Of course. Okay. So all that's left now is, yeah, the main quest. Let's see, we got some skill points. Resonator Blast, deal more damage with Resonator Blast. I don't have Resonator yet. Let's do that one. Okay. No tools. Got so many resources. Special gear. Lens of afternoon. Dome shaped piece of glass that reflect refracts light. Where did I get that thing? If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going. How do I use that special? Get something from him. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Perusing the menu. Let's get something very rare. There we go. Here too, anyway. Appreciate it, bud. Okay. Out of the camp. The embassy and the decree. Well, we've been talking about the whole six hours, roughly, of this game. <laughs> been playing for over six and a half almost six and a half hours all right 
Even in there. Stay on the road. Now that's not her. Alright. Getting close. We got off the path. We did go off the path. We got off the path. soldiers doing Let's go this way the barren light treats Here it is. The last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. I'm called Jahorn. And that means the Uso Storm Sun. Alright, we should find whoever's in charge here. Before whoever's in charge. Supply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Where's Erend? Uh, looks like he's had a few. Gentlemen. That's our cue. Gentlemen. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. this place well, nothing good it's where the cards you dragged all the captives they took from the forbidden west during the red raids lucky ones came slave labor the rest were hauled off to the sun ring and meridian for sacrifice you got it tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the cards out of the west i can't say i blame them and now avad's paying the osram to rebuild it no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. When he a uh, bundle of joy. What do you know about the embassy? I know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things I was going to say, we haven't fought a lot of people yet. Keep that in mind. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since uh, what, since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight, damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. Right. <laughs> I am. Um, I 
better get going. Oh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame you for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. Will. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Yes, sir. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. <laughs> but the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. Okay. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Okay. So what happens at these embassies? A lot of talking. Exactly? A lot of talking. Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, okay. during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> that was a battle. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see okay. about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change crate nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Come on up, dude. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. There's the commander. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? 
The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. Now I have to join the three clans? You see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the east where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. What about it? If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Um. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... Yeah, I'm not going to listen to you, bud. Or girl power this shit. What you got, Varl? Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think <laughs> Here you, you go. have the authority to keep that door shut? In the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. There we go. Saving the world. Forget hey, Louis, don't take no for nothing. Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. Does it make sense why he's there? I don't understand why he's part of the story currently. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go. All right. Well, folks, that's where we're going to leave it today. We're leave it. In, well, let's go back to that map. We're going to leave it here, and that enters into the much larger Forbidden West area. And you know, uh, we're going to go to California. We are in California, I think. I don't know. Really can't tell. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Um, see, I'm getting my hair cut around 9. I might be able to stream, oh, say around 11. We'll aim for 12. We'll aim for 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And we'll be streaming either Baldur's Gate 3 or a brand new game as well. So we'll dive back into... Horizon Forbidden West next week on next week's stream. And I hope to see you then as well as tomorrow. As always, stay greasy, but don't be easy.